Hello, this is Munson from Munson Music, and today we're going to talk about an easy beginner song called Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. And it starts out with a bass line on the low E string, like on the thickest string, and you play the open, 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 open three times, and then we're going to go to the second fret on that same string on the thickest E for F sharp note. So you're going E, 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 F sharp, and then we're going to go to the third fret on, on the low E string, which is a G note, and then play that. G, G, twice, and then we're going to go open A, and then we go to 2nd fret on the A string. So, so far we got, oh, and the 2nd fret on the A string is a B note. So, note-wise, you're going E, 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 F sharp, G, G, A, B, for the beginning part, and then you go open D, open D, 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 three times, and then we go back to the B note on the A string, the 2nd fret, and then open A. So, the notes you're playing so far, you got E. G, G, A, B, D, 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 B, and then we're going to play an open A, open A, open A, and then we're going to go to second fret on the A for the B note again, B, and then open A, and then G on the third fret on the low E, and then we start over again. <laughs> so all together you got E, 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 F sharp, G, G, A, B, D, 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 B, A, A, B, A, G, E, 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 F sharp, G, Fret-wise, it might be easier if you're completely starting out to just think about the numbers on the on the string. So, like, if we're taking the low E, we're going open, open, open two, and then three, three, but then we go to open A, open A, and then two, and then open D, open D, open D, open D, and then two on the A, open, open, and then we got two, oh, three. So that's kind of how you play the bass part at the beginning. Actually, I'm going to play it a couple times and just kind of call out the numbers, too. So open, open. Open A, two, open D, open D, open D, two on A, open A, open A, two, O, three, O. And I call that an intro lick because it kind of identifies the song immediately. And people who know the song will go, oh my gosh, that's that's that song that I really love by uh, Foss of the People called Pumped Up Kicks. Now, now the rest of the song really you can kind of do with just the strum pattern and chords. So we got open E minor, or E minor that we're starting on. So to play an E minor you put one on the A string on the second fret, two is going to go on the D string on the second fret. And you can play all the strings with that chord. And we're going to go to a G major, so we're going to take the second finger and go to low E on the third fret and third finger on, uh, to the high E on the third fret to make a G major chord. And then we're going to go to a D major chord, which we kind of have to jump into, but it looks like a little triangle. And you've got one on the G string on the second fret, second finger is going on the high E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And we're going to try and do just the top four strings with that, like D, G, B, E, and that'll get you your sound out of the D chord. And then we're going to go to A major, which is kind of a party on the second fret. We're going to put one on the D on the second fret, two on the G on the second fret, and three on the B on the second fret. We can really strum all the strings with that chord, but if you want the clearest sound, you'll do the A string to the high to the skinny. So A, D, G, B, E. Um, and basically, I, I like doing it with just the strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So on the E minor, if we were just going to do that a bunch, we'd have down, down, up. So basically the whole song is those four chords in repetition over and over again with that strum pattern. So we got down, down, up, up, G
along with the recording. And what we have to do is take that chord progression and use something called a capo, which makes the guitar slightly shorter and slightly higher in pitch. And you would put this on the first fret. So if you have a capo, you can put a capo on the first fret and think the same chords. And you're really playing F minor and A flat major and E flat major and B e flat major, but you don't have to worry about that. You can just think E minor. Down, shifting my one fret two but you would still think the same numbers so oh 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 two three three oh two oh 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 two oh oh two oh three oh 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 two three three oh two oh 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 two a a two oh three and then you would go into the chorus and the chorus are exactly the same, so you can use that one chord progression through the entire song with that one strum pattern to play it.